Jay and Diane are at their family reunion dinner. Look at all these amazing dishes. I can't wait to eat the spring rolls. Those are good, but I want to have the long life noodles the most. Do you think our sister's foreign husband will be afraid to eat the fish? He might because it still has its head and tail. Anyway, I'm super glad she's back from Canada. Yeah, I was sad when she couldn't make it last year. The whole family should always be together during Chinese New Year. I feel the same way. Hello there, and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And it is great that you could all come back to join us for the second part. That would be part B of our ABC Talk look at some of the most well-known and well-loved Chinese New Year traditions. Right. In yesterday's dialogue, we read a conversation between two characters, Diane and Jay. As they discussed their Chinese New Year preparations, as with many people, these preparations involved doing some shopping for new clothes, along with lots and lots of cleaning. Yes, that's right. They were going to clean their house from top to bottom, left to right, and they wanted to start that process by sweeping and mopping their floors. So one was busy with the sweeping, and then the other would be hanging some spring couplets around their front door for good luck. There you go. It was a lot of work, but when we left them, they were off to a good start. They were working as a team, and jobs were getting done. So why don't we get a good start on today's dialogue, which will be all about enjoying New Year's Eve dinner. By taking a look at some of today's new vocabulary, then we can come back to start reading. 第二天的文章带大家看除夕的晚餐 New Year's Eve dinner. 同学们最喜欢吃什么呢？先来看几个单字。第一个 noodle, noodle, 面是个名词。一碗面就是 a bowl of noodles. 后面要加一个 s. 我们通常都会用复数来表达。Do you prefer rice or noodles? Do you prefer rice or noodles? 你比较喜欢饭或是面。第二个单词 husband, husband， 丈夫是个名词。Casey's husband is waiting for her downstairs. Casey's husband is waiting for her downstairs. Casey 的老公在楼下等她。第三个单词 tail。Tail, 尾巴是个名词 Kitties like to play with their tails. Kitties like to play with their tails. 猫咪喜欢玩它们自己的尾巴最后一个单词 whole, whole, 全部的，整个的，完整的是个形容词 Gandhi gave his whole life to serving India. Gandhi gave his whole life to serving India. Gandhi 贡献了他的一生来服侍印度。好了，现在我们看完单词例句，一起回到课文中。Jay and Diane are at their family reunion dinner. Look at all these amazing dishes! I can't wait to eat the spring rolls. Those are good, but I want to have the long life noodles the most. Do you think our sister's foreign husband will be afraid to eat the fish? He might because it still has its head and tail. Explanation one. Okay, so the title of this part of our ABC Talk Unit is Part B: Enjoying New Year's Eve Dinner. Yum yum. So we can see at the top that it says Jay and Diane are at their family reunion dinner. So the whole family has gathered, maybe at somebody's home or a restaurant, and they're all going to have a great time chatting and eating as they enjoy some of the traditional Chinese New Year food that people serve every year. Right, and as Jay. 
Ray looks across the big table in front of him. He says, "Look at all these amazing dishes!" Right, there are probably twenty to thirty different plates of food right there in front of him. It's quite a selection of things to eat. And then he adds something that really he sees something I should say that really catches his eye, and so he adds, "I can't wait to eat the spring rolls." Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So those must be one of his favorites, and you know I can't disagree. Spring rolls are delicious, but don't eat too many, Jay. There's lots of other stuff to try too. And so while Jay picks out. His favorite foods. Let's go over to our favorite Daphne as she explains to us all about the first grammar point of the day. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 somebody can't wait to 加原形动词，意思是某人等不及做某事。Can't 是否定助动词，不能，无法的意思。Wait 则是不及物动词，等待的意思。合在一起。Can't wait 就是等不及，后方用不定词 to be 引出迫不及待的事情。例如 ，Simba can't wait to be the king. Simba 等不及要当国王。So Jay was just saying that he was very excited to try the spring rolls that are on the dining room table. Diane seems to agree, but her eye is really. On one of the other dishes, she says, "Those are good, but I want to have the long life noodles the most." So clearly, Diane is very smart, and she's a noodle fan. And those long life noodles are both delicious and will hopefully bring her good luck and good health throughout the new year. Fantastic! Then Jay notices one dish. That might not be too popular with one of their guests this year. He says to Diane, "Do you think our sister's foreign husband will be afraid to eat the fish?" Ah, okay. So there we learn that one of the guests this year is a foreigner. Obviously, he comes from another country, and he might not be used to eating whole fish. I guess he's not from France or Spain or somewhere like that because they eat whole fish there all the time.、Mm. And Diane seems to understand why Jay might be worried about this foreign friend not liking the fish. She explains he might because it still has its head. And tail. Oh, yeah. For some people, that would be really strange. Yeah, I guess so. I'd eaten lots of whole fish before I came to Taiwan. It's actually not that strange. I think the real problem that foreigners might have with eating whole fish in Taiwan is not the fact that the fish still has a head and the tail attached. But because you have to eat the fish with chopsticks and not with a knife and fork,、uh, that's more of a challenge. Yeah, I can see your point. Well, hopefully he can manage to at least try the fish. And if he really doesn't want to try it or just doesn't like it, there are still lots of other foods that he can eat quite happily. Okay. Everybody, so it's time for a break now, and we'll be back with our second half of today's reading. See you later. Anyway, I'm super glad she's back from Canada. Yeah, I was sad when she couldn't make it last year. The whole family should always be together during Chinese New Year. I feel the same way. Two. Welcome back, all. Jay and Diane are just chatting about their Chinese New Year dinner, and they were hoping that one of their guests this year, a man from overseas who is married to their sister, will be able to enjoy some of the slightly stranger food that is on the Chinese New Year dinner table. So this food isn't actually that strange, but since it is a fish with its head and tail attached, 
So they're worried about it being a little too real for their foreign guests. So I guess if their sister's husband is from Britain and is only used to fish and chips, then that could be really strange. Well, yeah, that is definitely true. But to find out more about their guest and some of the other people who will be coming to dinner this year, let's continue reading. So next, Jay says to Diane. Anyway, I'm super glad she's back from Canada.、Mm. Ah, okay. So their sister and her husband live in Canada. Interesting. Yes, if he's from Central Canada or the middle of the country, far away from the oceans, he might not eat fish that often. But if he's from Vancouver or Toronto or another big city. I'd be surprised if he's put off by the whole fish on the table. Vancouver, for example, has thousands of people from Taiwan and other parts of Asia living there. And you know what? I'd say that there are more sushi restaurants in Vancouver than in Taipei. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my mom's neighborhood in Vancouver, there is. I'm not joking. A sushi restaurant on every block of the street. It's almost like it is here, but with less stinky tofu. <laughs> okay, we need to pause here so that Daphne can fill us in on all that we need to know about our second grammar point of the day. 第二则文法是 somebody is back from place. 意思是某人从某地回来 Back 在这里是副词，意思是返回，回原处。后方再用介系词 from 从。引出最初前往的地点，例如 ，The astronaut is back from space. 这位太空人从太空回来。Okay, so back at the Chinese New Year dinner, Diane is agreeing with Jay and saying that she's also happy that their sister. And her husband have come back from Canada to celebrate Chinese New Year with the whole family. Diane tells Jay, "Yeah, I was sad when she couldn't make it last year. Well, the good news is that she is here now, and we have more good news for you, which is our final grammar point. Let's go over to Daphne one more time." 第三则文法是 make it. 意思是做到达成某事。Make 在这里是及物动词，使成功的意思。三态是 make、made、made。代名词 it 代指已提及的事物，合在一起 make it 就是成功。例如 ，Marilyn made it in films。玛丽莲成功进军电影界。Okay, so we are nearing the end of our dialogue for today, and it looks like Jay is going to start to wrap things up by saying the whole family should always be together during Chinese New Year. Well, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? But sometimes people do have to travel, and sometimes they move away. And hey, if you think about it, if people do go away, that just makes it that much nicer when we are able to finally get together again. I'm just happy for Jay, Diane, and their whole family that they are all together for this year's holiday. And I'll let Diane do the talking for me. She finishes off by saying. I feel the same way. Well, it sounds like they are all going to have a wonderful Chinese New Year dinner together. And remember, this is just the start of the Chinese New Year holiday. That's right. We have several more days to spend together. And tomorrow's dialogue, we will be reading about another fun activity that people will do during the holiday week. Visiting with relatives. It should be a blast, and it'll make your grandma happy. So please come <laughs> back to join us for that tomorrow. But it's so long for now. Bye bye. Jay and Diane are at their family reunion dinner. Look at all these amazing dishes! I can't wait to eat the spring rolls. Those are good. But I want to have the long life noodles the most. Do you think our sister's foreign husband will be afraid to eat the fish? He might because it still has its head and tail. Anyway, I'm super glad she's back from Canada. Yeah, I was sad when she couldn't make it last year. The whole family should always be together 
during Chinese New Year. I feel the same way. Want to start? You can start. Okay, that, that works for me. Hello, everybody. Welcome to English, English in Action. Action. Hi, I'm Holly. I am Shane. All right, our topic today, I think it's possible. That works for me. Ah, just to get into the conversation. Okay, that works for me. <laughs> Does that work for you? <laughs> okay, that works for me. Does that work for you? We'll go to the movie at two p.m. and stop by the supermarket on our way home. How does that sound? That works for me. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so in the dialogue, it feels like we're an old married couple or something. <laughs> so <laughs> so boring. So boring. So, 不要学我们哦，你们要出去 live your best life， 好不好 ？That works for me is actually very useful, right? Hmm.、Mm. So work 其实就是行得通的意思。嗯、mm.。所以这对我来讲行得通。那还有别的就是讲法吗 ？I'm okay with that. Okay, 就是很直白的，没问题，我可以。Yeah, 我很 OK. That's that's doable. Oh, doable. So、mm. 大家都知道 do 这个字嘛、mm. ，doable 就是可行的。That's doable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. So、yeah. let's review the sentences again. All right, that, I'm okay with that. All right, that works for me. That works for me. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's doable. That's doable. Yeah. All right. So next time you don't know how to say it in English, you can. 考我们就对了。Hey. hey. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天同样是用一分钟的时间来复习四个单词。同学们准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。好，第二单词是面。同学们喜欢吃面吗？面这个字叫做 noodle， noodle。我们常常会用复数 noodles。好，如果说 long life noodles 就可以指长寿面哦。Okay， I sometimes have noodles for lunch。我午餐有时候是吃面。第二单词叫做丈夫，老公、丈夫这怎么说呢？叫做 husband。Husband, 有一些比较亲密，他就叫他 hubby。好 ，OK. Grace's husband is an engineer. Grace 的丈夫是一位工程师。第三个单词叫做尾巴，摇尾巴那个尾巴怎么说呢？叫做 tail. Tail. The dog is wagging its tail. 那只狗狗正在摇尾巴。好，第四个单词呢，它可以当形容词来形容全部的、整个的，这个叫做 whole. Whole. 前面是 w h o l e 哦，少了 w 会变成 whole 那个。是动哦，两个发音一样，但拼字不同。She spent the whole morning doing housework. 她一整个早上都在做家事。好，太好了，我们在一分钟之内已经完成任务，顺利复习完四个单词喽。同学们表现很棒，那平常还是要多多复习，多多造句练习。我们下次见，拜拜。